Hey family, what's up with it? How you guys doing? What's happening? It is the 30th of August, um, 2016. It is 6.47 in the p.m. And I have come on to give my take to my nephew, no other than Chris Brown. Baby, I gotta holler at you for a minute. Can, can Auntie holler at you for just for a quick minute? I call you my nephew because me and your mama could be like, you know what I'm saying, cousins. You know what I mean? We graduated around about the same time. You know what I mean? We were around that same age group. So you're more so like a nephew to me. But I got to shoot the 100 shit to you right quick, my nigga. Because, you know, right now they got you looking real crazy on the motherfucking TV. Okay? Now, <clears throat> this video... If it ain't your shit, okay, this is grown folks, this is how I talk, this, is, you know, I use a lot of profanity, I don't mean to, I really try to corral this shit, really, I really attempt to corral it because I know that it's not really professional, really, you know what I mean, it's not real cool to just constantly throw out so many motherfuckers, you know what I mean, but, and I try not to do that. But sometimes you get the best of me. And especially when, you know, I've had a little glass of wine. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling nice. You know what I mean? Then therefore, uh, my inhibitions. You know, I'm loose. You know what I mean? I'm just on some old alter ego type. On a whole nother level type shit. Now, when I don't have my glass of wine, I'm very mild-mannered. Very sweet. Very, you know, got this little sexy little thing going with it. But nigga, when I'm on a, a whole nother level, and I'm looking down, and I'm seeing Looters Park and motherfucking Compton Swap Meet, and I'm seeing my mama's house, and you know what I'm saying, Atlantic Drive, and I'm seeing Kelly Park and shit, you know what I'm saying, I'm seeing D Dominguez High School, Compton High, nigga, I'm seeing Crenshaw, I'm seeing motherfucking uh, L.A. Jordan and shit. When I get the, you know, when I'm on that motherfucking level means I'm up there, okay? When I'm up there, though, this is what it is. I just take it all the way back to Compton. I don't know nothing else. You know, and it's like, I truly try to, you know, corral that thing. You know, but at the end of the day, this is who I am. I can't be nobody else. This is how I roll. This is, this is just my regular shit. But when I'm on my real sexy shit, then you get Miss Tina. And Miss Tina be on a whole nother motherfucking level, baby. Now, I'm going to put, I'm going to post Miss Tina in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Because I went to the um, Guardina Jazz Festival. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, when I'm on Miss Teen I'm a, and I'm on some sexy shit, got hair on by the pound, eyelashes and shit, doing what they need to do. You know what I mean? And um, when I'm on that, I can't help but to be sweet as pie. You know? It's like, you know, I don't know. I just, I don't know. It just is what it is. But anyway, nephew, this ain't even about my shit, nigga. This about you. And this bullshit you done got your ass wrapped up in on the day. You know what I mean? Now, <clears throat> for the life of me, um, I don't know why. Well, I, I won't say I don't know why. I do know why. Nigga, they they, they trying to make um, uh, an example out of you. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you in Tarzana. Nigga, you in Tarzana. Chris, nigga, you is in Tarzana, nigga. Ain't too many niggas up there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got Jermaine Jackson and all them motherfuckers, but you know what I'm saying? Are they really on some old... You know what I'm saying? Are they really on some house party type shit over there? Not really, nigga. Here two weeks ago, wasn't y'all motherfuckers rolling quad runners and shit all up and down the streets? Y'all had them motherfucking white folks scared of shit. You know? And it was all over the news again. They got talking about doing petitions. We gonna kick them out and all this other kind of old type shit, but... But what, what, what I'm not really understanding, though, is when Justin Bieber, you know what I'm saying, over here, when he, this motherfucker was in Calabasas and he was showing the fuck out, yeah, they was trying to petition to get his ass up out of there, too, but he was vandalizing and he was doing some real crazy shit. But I think, honestly, a lot of um, people in my age group, <clears throat> they tend to forget that they was once kids. You know, not to say that you're a kid, because you're a grown-ass man. But, you know, we are like your senior. That's why I'm saying I'm like your auntie, you know. And so we kind of see things a little bit different. We kind of slow the fuck down just slightly, you know what I'm saying. Some of us, you know, kind of slow that thing down. And then some motherfuckers tend to forget. But then, too, in your situation, it's not too many motherfuckers that have had the life that you live right now. Nigga, you got a compound, nigga. 
You got a whole motherfucking compound like them solar panels, though, nigga. That was that's mighty sharp. You know what I mean? Now this morning, I put it on my Facebook. I'm gonna go and tell you the truth about it. You know what I mean, nigga? I'm watching Channel 11. Okay, TMZ was on around 10:30. You know what I mean? Somewhere around along up in there, and it come in breaking news. So I'm like, wait a minute, what the fuck's going on? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm seeing yellow tape, so I'm thinking it's a homicide. <laughs> Nigga, I'm thinking that you really done laid some motherfucker down. You understand? Breaking news. Chris Brown. Assault with a deadly weapon. Yada, yada, yada. We got Ray J BMW. We about to flatbed that motherfucker. We questioning him. He over here to the side looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, wait a minute, what the fuck y'all niggas done last night? What was y'all doing, dog? Real shit. Because, nigga, when they showed the arrow view shot of the pad, y'all motherfuckers had a bouncer out there. Y'all had quad one and sick out the game. Looked like I seen about 9 or 11, 11 them motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Lamborghinis and all this whole type of shit all over here on to the side. I guess that's your, you know what I'm saying? That's your parking lot. You know what I mean? But I'm looking at all these motherfucking quad runners and the motherfucking, all this shit was, it was going down apparently yesterday. They said that you had had a party last night, yesterday, whatever the case, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers, apparently motherfuckers was throwing up, so they just said, fuck it, nigga. Pull out a pallet and lay down. Lay that ass down, nigga. We're going to start this shit back up. Rotation going to be about 7 11 in the morning, and we're going to start this shit back up. Well... But it's certain motherfuckers you didn't kick out the pad. You were supposed to kick them bitches out. After you, after y'all niggas done done whatever y'all done to some of them motherfuckers, it, it was time to everybody, okay, what you about to do? Why is these bitches just still here, nigga? You cooking breakfast, nigga? You on some malt meal, some cream of wheat, motherfucking make up a maple bacon and sausage and shit, nigga? I'm trying to figure out how come this bitch was still at the pad, nigga, at 11 o'clock this morning. Why is this bitch still here? You know what I'm saying? Now. This shit could have happened early in the morning. And it's, you know, this is just when the report's coming down and now it's breaking news and all this whole type of shit. Well, the story that we got on Channel 11 was you had a party yesterday. This morning, your jeweler came by and, you know what I'm saying, but nigga, you got all these motherfuckers in the house that ain't got what you got, nigga. You can't show all this shit to everybody, nigga. Now, didn't, didn't, uh... Uh, uh, Black China and them just get 250 G stolen up out of their pad? Didn't your auntie and somebody just get held up at the pad on some other shit? Nigga, why is you showing these motherfuckers how you really able to do this? Nigga, I just bring the jeweler right onto the pad. Um, go on and roll out this motherfucker crushed velvet right here so we can go and see what you got. Nigga, you had too many people in the house on that. Okay, you had too many motherfuckers on the house on that. But... No less. This is what the story is that we got. Okay. So, Becky, Snow Bunny, you know what I'm saying, Scott Bayo X, you know what I mean? I don't want to call out another motherfucking name, but the white bitch, you know what I'm saying? You got this motherfucker that can't handle nothing. This bitch is weak as walk. You know what I mean? See, it wasn't Shaniqua. It wasn't Rochelle or motherfucking Marquette or, or Precious. You know what I mean? It wasn't Alizé or one of them motherfuckers. No, nigga, you had Becky. Becky, nigga. For real? This bitch got too familiar. Which I understood she needed to check her privilege. Because, okay, Jake the Jeweler, whoever the fuck came and come show all these jewels, Becky wanted to touch the shit. I'm just telling you according to what uh, Fox News was telling us this morning. You know what I'm saying? What Channel 11 kicked off. You know what I'm saying? Becky want to touch some shit. Now here you want to go out right. You're going to pull out of whatever you pulled out. I don't know if you put a Glock. I don't know what the fuck you did, knuckle. But you pulled some shit out that had this bitch nervous. Okay? Now, but you got to go. Nigga, at that point in time, after you pulled that on, you seen the bitch was crying and she was scared and all that. Calm that bitch down. Give her a little... You know what I'm saying? Y'all roll the weed. Because we need to get this bitch back on calm status. So then therefore she can go home. And then we ain't going to have no drawback on this. But you can't draw no weapon on a motherfucker. That's already weak as water. You know what I'm saying? Because the bitch already got some explaining to do already. For the simple fact that your motherfucking ass is at Chris Brown's motherfucking house. Since yesterday. With all these niggas in the house. 
Okay, now we're gonna get on Ray J's ass in a minute, cause nigga, nigga, you you stayed the night at Chris Brown house last night with all these motherfucking chicken strips in the pad. Wifey, I don't know if she was there or not. Ain't none of my business. Not eat, no way. You know what I mean? But however though, nigga, you just had nuptials here. What was that? A couple weeks ago or something? And now you trumped up and your name swirling around in some bullshit. That your motherfucking ass should have really been at home. Okay, you should have been at home, nigga. Now Monice done had all this shit to say. I'm going to give it this amount of time. I'm going to give it this time, this time, nigga. Now you making this bitch win. Because now motherfuckers is looking back on what Monice done had to say. And motherfuckers are kind of thinking about it. Like, you know what? This bitch kind of got a point on some of this shit right here that she kicking out. You know what I mean? But still, whatever, nigga. Uh, go ahead on and get him a couple of hundred dollars. Go ahead on and get your car back. Because now they showed on the news that they was getting ready to flatbed your motherfucking BMW and move that motherfucker on off the premises. But what I didn't understand, why in the fuck we got it roped off like it's a homicide? Why we got this shit looking like it's first 48? Nigga, they had a whole motherfucking look like a, a whole perimeter set up. Nigga, they had easy ups and shit and LAPD stacked about four or five motherfucking cars deep plus the truck they had the RV out there nigga they set up a whole perimeter around your motherfucking house and they set it up to where nigga we going up in this motherfucker today we don't give a fuck what's happening nigga you can Instagram and do all that shit nigga we got more time and money we gonna just we done send somebody down there to the precinct he gonna get this shit drawn up so then therefore we gonna you know what I'm saying look <laughs> we coming in this motherfucker today you know so Whatever it was, nigga, whatever kind of dope these motherfuckers and came up on, which, damn. Who was involved with the flushing is what I'm trying to figure out. Nigga, some shit was supposed to have been flushed like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Some shit was supposed to have been flushed, goddammit. Because I'm trying to figure out how in the fuck they still got some dope. And y'all motherfuckers had them niggas outside for ten hours, Chris. Okay? From what the news is saying, which I'm still kind of tripping because this shit came on at, what, about 10-something this morning? You know what I'm saying? And they were saying that there was a standoff for 10 hours. I'm like, God damn. Nigga, I went to sleep last night. Well, see, I had one. Let's see, yesterday I had I had to go to Montebello. I had some other shit to do. So, then, therefore, I came home. I crashed, nigga. But, uh, back on your shit. <clears throat> if they saying that you did a, a standoff for 10 hours, which sounds real crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? Which sound real crazy to me, nigga. They wasn't supposed to find a motherfucking thing you can light up in that motherfucker, nigga. It's supposed to be some of them goddamn incenses burning and shit and all kinds. Of, you got one in the theater room? Okay. We're going to need one in the back bathroom. We're going to need one out there in the foyer. We're going to need one back there by the chicken coop. Nigga, we going to have, nigga. We got all kind of motherfucking incense burning up in this motherfucker. So by the time they come up in this bitch, nigga. It's patchouli up in this motherfucker. What? Nigga, it's, nigga, Brazilian breeze. Uh, nigga, it's, uh, Egyptian musk. Oh, okay, when you go in the corridor over there, nigga, that's, uh, frankincense over there. They wasn't supposed to come in smelling shit, nigga. They wasn't supposed to, nigga, it's supposed to have been so much fly below so all through this motherfucker. What, uh, what are we doing? So it's time to start firing some motherfuckers as we speak already. Because if these motherfucking LAPDs were sitting outside all this length of time, but them motherfuckers still came in and end up with some dope, nigga, that sound crazy to me. I don't understand that shit. It was some, nigga, it was some wanksters on your motherfucking team, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was a bunch of motherfucking chumps and shit on your motherfucking squad this morning. Whereas I don't see, I don't see how that shit should have went down. You know, and then it's alleged reports that I guess motherfuckers it was a duffel bag or some shit. And some other shit and some other shit, which, you know, all this shit is allegedly, and I'm not here to put no rumor mill out here. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to state the shit that they done put out here already. But regardless to the fact, nickel, you cannot have these bitches up in your motherfucking pad, nickel, after a certain amount of time. What you about to do? Because I got some shit to do. I got to go to the studio. I got to go to Studio City. Um, I gotta, uh, I gotta run out to Malibu, I got some shit to do. Oh, yeah, I gotta go to Fullerton, I got some, yeah, yeah, you know what, I just realized. I gotta go to Canoga Park, ain't that a bitch? Yeah, you were supposed to tell these bitches, you got some shit to do. Ain't no way in the world you supposed to be still posting up and parlaying with these motherfuckers 
And TMZ and them is coming on now. And now this bitch is calling the police. Because she want to put her motherfucking hands on the jewels. Which, you know, I understand that you got pissed off. But nigga, you had no business pulling your shit out to show these motherfuckers that you got it like that. In front of everybody? You know what I'm saying? In front of everybody. I'm going to go on. Let me, nigga, uh, somebody call the jeweler and have this motherfucker on. Go on, go on. Let, let me see what you got. Uh, bring the new collection on over here by the pad. Uh, yeah, I like to see it. Nigga, you had too many people in the house for that shit, dog. Real shit. Nigga, who was you trying to flow show? Two step, crip walk, whatever. What kind of shit was you trying to do on these motherfuckers in the pad that you got the jeweler to, to come down and bring you the new collection in front of everybody? That sound crazy to me. Nephew would sound crazy to me, dog. I, I, I ain't got no understanding for it. I ain't got no understanding on why Ray J's ass is still here, nigga. And we about to have cream of wheat. And motherfuckers is getting the rotation back started. What the hell is going on? Now, I did see the bouncer and shit outside. So y'all niggas was partying last night. Y'all motherfuckers had the bouncer out. Nigga, I seen... 50 11 motherfucking quad runners and scooters and shit. So I guess that's what brought Ray J's ass over there. Because that little bike he got is mighty sharp. So I'm seeing all these little bikes and scooters and shit all around the compound. You know what I mean? Then on this side, this nigga got his real ex exclusive shit. Lambos and shit all over here on this side. Nigga, your shit was filleted. I ain't mad at you, nephew. Your shit was mighty sharp. But you can't do that with everybody, though. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you can't do this shit with everybody. But see, if you would have had Brenda, Shaniqua, motherfucking Marshall, um, Tasha, Shaniqua, Precious, and Alizé, would not now one of them motherfuckers call the police on the goddamn thing that took place at the pad. You understand me? But no, nigga, you got Becky over here. Chris, you had Becky, nigga. Now, when they got the roll calling and bringing everybody out the pad, I didn't see too many more snow bunnies other than that one. I saw that one. I think I saw one more, but she could have been part of LAPD. I don't know. So, this motherfucker's supposed to be Miss California such and such. They need to go ahead and take this bitch's crown and every goddamn thing else. Because who the fuck now are you trying to mentor? But you at Chris Brown's pad. Like, it's some old school throwback Mike Tyson and this bitch here getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning. What the fuck are we doing at 3 o'clock in the morning, baby? What are we doing at 3? And you got Becky right here with no resolve. Can't handle shit. Bitch, weak as water. She can't handle it. She couldn't handle that shit. I see Shanique when them ain't called no motherfucking body. They ain't called not a damn soul. Oh, nigga, that's tight. Oh, nigga, that's, oh, that nigga, that's bad. Um, um, who rolling the weed? What's, what's happening? Um... And then can we get some Malta Meal in this motherfucker? Is uh I like some maple bacon. Shit, this one motherfucker in the back say, I want some grits with cheese on my yeah. Niggas is ready to eat now. But see Becky, she getting too familiar and she wanna put her motherfucking hands on the shit. But you didn't have to do what you did though, Chris. Baby, you didn't have to do all that though. Damn, Chris. Damn, motherfucker. You got to know that they watching your every move, nigga. It's almost like you making a mockery of these motherfuckers. Nigga, you in Tarzana, Chris. Tarzana? Nigga, you down there with motherfucking Jermaine Jackson and them. them, them you know what I'm saying? So then therefore, them white folks ain't ready for how y'all niggas is quad running up and down the block. Two weeks ago, they had y'all motherfuckers. Y'all niggas was quad running up and down the block and... You know, y'all was niggas, niggas was doing the mostest. Here a couple weeks ago, it was all over the news. So you already got these motherfuckers mad. But now you got one of their granddaughters, and they treating this bitch like she is a descendant to Frank Sinatra around this motherfucker. But I'm gonna need the 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 camp the the pageant motherfuckers to go ahead on and pull this bitch's crown. But she ain't had no business at your house at three o'clock in the morning. Or a quarter to eleven. Watching TMZ and, 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 you know what I'm saying, why this nigga over here in the cup rolling the weed. I'm not understanding this shit. 
Okay, I'm not understanding this shit. But baby, you grown. You was a grown ass motherfucking man. Do where you make your own goddamn decisions. You can roll your own motherfucking boat like you said, nigga. I'm famous. I got money. I'm this right here. And I'm this right here. And I'm this right here. I got it. You know, but see, you got these motherfuckers over here salty, nigga. You you sprinkling lorries all over these motherfuckers since you got there. You got the baddest pad in the hood. And I'm saying hood lightly, okay? In your neighborhood, nigga, you got the coldest compound right there, nigga. Your shit is, now they got these houses over here, but where Chris's house is set, on this little hill part right here, it's the only pad in this little area. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, this motherfucker was so cold blooded with it, he was like, shit, move this brush and shit off my shit in case it's a fire. Okay? Shit, nigga, you got the brush and shit moved off from the pad and shit. I ain't mad at you, Chris. Your shit is sharp. Mighty sharp, nephew. But you can't break bread with everybody, nigga. And no, nor can you have a bowl of cereal with every motherfucker that stayed the night last night. This bitch is telling. This bitch is a mark. She's a buster. You know what I mean? She done, she done, she done fucked it all up now. But you didn't have to do what you did. You didn't have to, you didn't have to do all that, though. Damn, nigga. Where was D at? That's what the fuck I want to know. Where was D at? But I saw D, he's rolling with Q, I guess, this week. And they doing some other things on the East. <clears throat> So I see D wasn't with you this week. But D wouldn't have not let that shit go down because I'm really trying to wonder on who the fuck else was in the pad. Whereas these motherfuckers still, by the time the police come in this motherfucker, it still was some shit in this motherfucker. What was that about? Damn. I don't understand. Ray J, nigga, you looking crazy as a motherfucker too. But you know, of course... They got the perimeter set. They got the eye in the sky. LAPD deep. Nigga, you gonna just decide. Nigga, I'm out of this motherfucker. Nigga, it's hot right now. Nigga, it's getting too hot around this motherfucker. Nigga, I'm gone. Of course they was gonna pull your ass over. When you came off the hill, nigga, what was you thinking, dog? The only thing you was gonna have to do is, is, is teleport up out of this motherfucker. Because driving your shit up off that hill, nigga, everything that was coming off that motherfucking hill, they was up. Uh, uh, excuse me. License, registration, proof of insurance, please. Step out your vehicle, sir. They were supposed to do that. Because we didn't have Becky call us talking about Chris Brown got me up in here with a gun to my motherfucking head. You know, and Ray J and everybody else is up in here partying. Once she got the roll calling, hell yeah, they brought half the precinct to this motherfucker. And y'all got this white bitch on the line that's talking about that all this shit right here is taking place up in the pad. Nigga, y'all niggas was raggedy, dog. Y'all niggas was raggedy with this shit. This shit was raggedy, nigga. I ain't, auntie ain't gonna ca do nothing but tell you the truth. But what I'm gonna need you to do is settle the fuck down. You got a daughter now. I understand you missing Karuchi. You know what I mean? That's the motherfucking one you miss. Because, see, you're showing how niggas do dumb shit when the one they really want and really want them no more. So now they just with a gang of random bitches. And to the bitch that they really want to fuck with until she gets some act right and tell a nigga he can go on and come home or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas like to go down there and eat at Norm's and shit like that. You know what I mean? You missing all that shit. But, nigga, you can't recreate this shit with these motherfuckers. These niggas is riding, dog. These niggas was riding on your shit, nigga. But then you want to flow show and get the Jake the Jeweler or whoever the fuck he was, bring his motherfucking ass over here to roll out the crushed velvet. Nigga, you was doing too much this morning, nigga. Damn. You was doing too much this morning, nigga. Just smoke the weed, nigga. What else was in this motherfucker? What else did y'all niggas have? Real shit. Because this shit, nigga, made you come brand new and you forgot the fact that these motherfuckers are still mad at the fact that you got off on this last shit. Nephew, calm the fuck down. Now you're going to have to pay this bitch off because Becky going to want to check. You understand? Because right now this bitch is going to be hot dog on a stick bound. You understand me? This bitch is going to be working at the mall at Spencer or some motherfucking work. That's all she got. This bitch going to be at the San Rio store, nickel. Because they got to take her crown or whatever. This Miss California who? No, but you ain't none of that. You from Pasadena or from wherever. Now. But you... 
Now you got a whole line of now you got all you got to pay out all this motherfucking money, all this legal defense, and all this shit, and all this shit, and all this shit. <clears throat> because as a, as a felon, you can't have certain things no motherfucking way. Nigga, that was them them buster niggas, them niggas, but, but see you the homeowner. So who they gonna charge it with? Nigga, this is your pad. This is your shit. Just that simple. You Chris Brown. It's fucked up, though. And auntie hate to see this happening right now. I really hate to see this going down, my nigga. Because, I, I mean, I really like your get down. You a talented young man. Fine as a motherfucker. You know what I mean? And it's like, ever since this bullshit back then... It's like, these motherfuckers just will not leave you alone, nigga, like you, Bobby Brown. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, I want so badly for you to just mellow the fuck out, get it right, make your music, get back to the, you know what I'm saying, to the R&B. Let's just get back to that shit. Let's get back to some motherfucking slow, slow songs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's get back to some of that motherfucking shit, you know what I'm saying? Because right now, these motherfuckers is really trying to take you out. And I don't want to see nothing happen to you, baby. I don't. Real shit. Us all love. All love. Baby, I'm out. Holler at your motherfucking auntie. Deuces. I'm gone. Bye.